just a rock star. Um, it's coming at you because I know I've had a lot of people have issues with their will and are kind of a little bit confused about settings and things like that and uh, trying to figure out exactly like what I should be using you know this type of will generally I'm gonna tell you the will I use of CMX Pro for its feedback <coughs> the Xbox edition and PC um, when I first got the will uh, it was very difficult I had a ton of issues I, I don't know will wasn't working right I wouldn't be able to drift this is mainly just for drifting um, you can kind of use the setting for racing I kind of do a little bit of racing on here or not too much but it seems to work when I go when I went through single player campaign but um, <coughs> generally speaking uh, let's get to it so first and foremost what you want to do is excuse all my windows you want to just go on Google type in TMX Pro um, drivers as you start master and it's gonna be that one at the top it's gonna bring you down to here um, you want to download the uh, force feedback firmware and also if you don't know how to do it I downloaded the update procedure so it told me like exactly how to even install it so I'm not gonna go into that detail um, <clears throat> they also have tipped um, templates and tips for cockpit and the user manual so do that first then what you're going to do you're going to search it or you just come down here this is the program right here you open up firmware update and it's gonna be right here so it's already updated you click ok it will proceed and it would update your thrust master or whatever what you have I don't know how Logitech does theirs I do not have one never really own one so I can't explain that to you but you will go down go a little bit slower here I don't want to go too fast um, go back to that file uh, wherever you downloaded it and you want to open up your control panel open up properties by the way when you do this I typically like to have any game or any type of racing game or whatever you're going to use your reel on I generally like to set my settings before I start the game up don't know why but sometimes when I'm changing the settings while the game is already running it tends to not recognize them so I just save myself time by just closing it or opening it back up after I've done what I wanted to change and these are my settings I drift on 900 sometimes I like to drift on 540 generally if you just got the wheel I suggest you go to 540 I think 540 is a nice spot it's a nice way to start it's very simple it doesn't see it won't turn all the way so really you're doing like one and a half rotation or really just half a rotation or such so we're gonna go back to 900 because that's a full 900 degrees full rotations <coughs> So it makes things a little bit easier now for force feedback for i'm gonna show you my settings for 540 and 900 but this is what i run for 900 right now i think my force feedback in this wheel is fairly strong so i like a really loose wheel and um i generally just turn it down just a tad bit and once you think you got that all set <laughs> close that I like to leave this open because generally sometimes, depending on the car I'm driving, I like to change my force feedback or change my settings. So I just, I just, you don't have to leave this open right here, this window. I generally just leave my game controllers window open. So we're gonna slide back to here. I'm gonna go to your controls, and at the start, you're not gonna have anything. I my wheel is not on here as you see there is no TMX Pro but make sure all your pedals work my clutch my brake everything works it's good and uh, <clears throat> make sure that's good uh, that the game recognizes it all your inputs and everything the wheel all that and uh, I come back here and as you can see TMX Pro is not on this list 
and that's okay don't freak out your will does support it probably but always make sure before you buy that it does support the game but it's not on this preset list so it's really simple all you do is just click on one and say apply preset real simple now what you want to do here is um, you want to just slide this to 900 I'm not going to tinker with this because for some reason I struggle with getting the exact number and uh, that's really I don't know okay well actually I got it wow and uh, this is real simple so you click on here do a click throttle then you just click on it press the brake pedal and you click on here you press the clutch if you have a clutch you don't if you have a handbrake then same thing I don't have a handbrake not gonna do that um, and then once you're done make sure these are all checked this is very important because if not your pedals probably won't work so for shifters easy you shift up shift down simple this stuff's only if you have a sequential H pattern don't mess with it if you do you can just click on it I don't have one unfortunately I cannot show you that but I will be getting one soon um, now when it comes to buttons not all my buttons work now some of them do some of them don't I cannot input my d-pad that's just depending on if your will actually is compatible to all that on the game or right, the game supports those buttons I guess suppose and I will but generally I do this right here I mean my B button works or I should say and I just bind my handbrake to B but I also bind my handbrake to spacebar because sometimes I would like to use my spacebar because I don't know I like the feeling where I can just drift with one hand and boom I can just tap spacebar spacebar it'll automatically just like handbrake it for me and I think it's really smooth for my opinion um I'm going to go to this part now since you guys have all the other stuff basic uh, this is what I run for my 900 I just read this up here for you guys to look at um, as you guys can see I run 80 in the game and I run 65 in my software reason I do that is because the game's worst feedback is not or generally I should say different cars have different amount of feeling of course everybody knows that like every car feels different so I set it to 65 because the software really controls more the force feedback than the actual game does I guess if you wanna the software basically has more input to how your wheel feels than more of the force feedback that's in the game so the force feedback in the game just you're just controlling how much force feedback you're getting from the car and I think when I tweaked it or messed around with it a good amount of times I went from 85 70 you left the same I generally see that when I change in the software force feedback my wheel gets lower which means I change the amount of force feedback I get in the game first and then I adjust it to how my wheel feels and then that's where I ended up at 6580 that's kind of a brief way to explain it any more questions you guys leave a comment and stuff like that I'll try to help you out and I'll uh, <clears throat> definitely try to get back to you on it and explain it a little bit more in detail and further but I don't use ABS so it's just really for racing um, this is what I use for 540 as you can see I go down more because the less amount of rotation I use the less amount of force feedback I need because I'm not turning all the way so I'm only stopping and uh, at a certain point at like 540 degrees and so always think about that like the higher you go the more force feedback you need because the wheel will spin faster because it'll spin more <coughs> excuse me and uh, same vice versa so when you use less rotation you need less force for the wheel um, I typically leave it this I kind of go up in here I go to like 70 
I probably leave it 50-50 or I might leave it 65. Yeah, I'll just tuck that a little bit. But I go up because I'm using less. So I need more force feedback. I'll probably go to like 85 or 70, somewhere around that area. Um, that's for 540. And of course, I use 65 for number 100. And I'm going to load this back up. And um, once I've done that, um, once you save as, you know, just click here, you would just type it, da 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 da, you would save it, and boom, you have your settings saved. Um, I don't generally mess with this stuff right here, that's for keyboard and mouse, right? The keyboard and mouse, the new one, but I just will. Um, a good general setting, I always think you guys should uh, take off this this right is the camera shake take that off I don't think that'll help you I usually also makes your virtual steering little rotation limit is off I, uh, I use driver arms it's just basically the stuff that I use um, <clears throat> now when I go the way I learned how to technically drift is I downloaded mods I'll leave the mods in the comment section uh, the list that I went to to download them it's really simple it's super easy if you guys want me to make a tutorial how to download these mods or what programs you need to use them I will gladly do it it's not that difficult if you want to do a video maybe there's other videos or if you want to see my video because I go into more detail and will explain it better then just let me know but um yeah so I didn't learn to drift with mm -hmm. The car that I used wasn't the BMW. I used the R32. Helped me drift on 900 degrees. I don't know why. I guess it's preference, but having the modded car sometimes they drift a little bit better. They have more power. They're just a little bit more stable. Some of them, I should say, not all of them. And they don't. I guess. They're just a little bit, they're kind of pre tuned already. So, like, when you drift them, they're kind of already at a good setting for you. For the people that created them, they try to like already set that up for you. Some aren't, like, mm -hmm. for some reason, these cars were not. Just made it, I have to like go and tune them myself. But that's not a big of a problem for me because I've been drifting for a while. So, I was gladly able to do that and I drift fine with them. But just if you want, like, a good, I usually typically you start with the R32 it's just really smooth it's really balanced 540 900 I never have any problems with it I just tweak it now more because I know what I'm doing but <clears throat> if you're a novice I definitely think you should do that and start there um, now we're going to pick a car and we're going to go drift with it for a little bit um, let's just let's go with So, um, alright, <clears throat> so what's up guys, so we're going to do a little bit of a drifting on Minami, and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I run, uh, this is a quick look at my settings that I run on this car, it's not the best, it's just one I just kind of threw together, um, so, <clears throat> as you can see, um, What I like to do is that I usually like to always have my pedals here so that they're, uh, I'm trying to bend this, but it's not working. Um, we're going to, um, and where's my pedals? Oh, all right, there you go. So, these are like my pedals right here. So here we go. 
is Rocky J. R zero CK Watch Fish J. Mixer Rockstar. And if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Signing out.